Head number one, put these guys on a scale. Mm. Will they, can they run your organization for you? Can they run your business? And number two, look at them, dissect and assess them. Yeah. Don't get someone that is hiding somewhere or that feels like, they are asking for us, we are their employers. Absolutely. And they, they work for us. Absolutely. You know, so, so those are the two major things that I have taken away so far. Please put, pen them down as well. Before I go on, we are also on um, Twitter space. And Mr. Baccaroni is also there as well. Please log into Twitter space, comment. You can also raise your hands. We can also call you to, you can, you can give us a call and then we can accept your call, ask a question, contributions. Also, on our TV screen, you'll see the phone numbers to call in. Please dial in. Let's talk to Mr. Baccaroni. Let's talk about 2023. Let's talk about what we need to do and how we need to do it. And why we even need to do it. I, I'm sure you already have some, some of these things, but can I be oversaid? I, I saw a message from one of my friends on my phone now. He says, Macarena, you talk, you talk sense are big. <laughs> and, and I ought to agree with him. You're saying too much sense. You're saying too much sense. Now, now, now I want to narrow down these issues to, you, you know how Nigeria is. I, mm. I, we're very tribalistic mm. in mm. nature. Yeah. We can't take it away from ourselves. Yeah. There's no doubt that, well, whilst we know that, we must look at them, assess them, dissect them yeah. here and there. Yeah. How do we take away this issue of tribe away from it? Yeah. Coupled, after tribe, just yeah. touch on religion. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to create a content. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming from set like this. Mm. You know, so, I'm, so my schedule is very busy, but I want to squeeze out that time to create, shoot a content on right. this issue right. that I just mentioned. You know, uh, because it's, it's, it's a very important, and the way we are going, the way people are going about it, a lot of people will, will be misguided and a lot of people will fall prey mm. to these gimmicks and these tactics. Now, if you ask me about the issue of tribe, the questions I'll throw at you are simple. I made a couple of tweets some days back as well. Absolutely. If, you, if, you are, if someone is in a state of emergency and they rush you to the hospital and you want, and you, and you want to take treatment, will you tell the doctor, wait, are you in Yoruba? <laughs> or are you in Or are you outside? If you are new, before you treat me, I need to know. You take your treatment. Absolutely. If you are going for, if you are going to, 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 to ask for a job, if they are doing interview for you, the person that wants to interview you, we ask him whether he's Igbo or Hausa or Yuba. Can take his job. Before you take the job, when you are conducting business with people, when people come to buy something from your, your store, come to buy paper from you in the market, come to do you ask? Them, don't you just do your business? Mm. So why are you now going to put something something as serious? Especially, like I said before, because we know the state of the nation right now. Why are you not going to use tribalism? Why are you going to put, bring in the matter of tribe as, as a criteria for electing who should lead us, who should bring us out of a, a certain mess? Huh? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm quick to also say that, that we know that it's not as if any president coming in now is just going to suddenly change things. But at least let us know that we have done due diligence by bringing in someone we know can be held accountable. Hmm. We don't want to bring in tyrants. We don't want to bring in people that we cannot ask questions. People, people that right now they never even enter. They, they don't they do some certain things. Everybody be like, ah, ah, ah. They have been saying some certain things. Ah, what, what, what happened? <laughs> so if you now enter and come, make we run away. So the, the issue of tribe is so we, we need to see. We need to see beyond tribe and focus on more important things. Competence. Competence. Hmm. Accountability. The people that want to, will they agree to be held accountable? Can we say, Mr. President, we don't like what is going on. Address this. Address that. And they will not, and they will not say they want to ban uh, uh, social media. Then the issue of hmm. religion too. One, one thing I'll tell you is look at the same... And politicians that you say that because of one tribe or one religion, you know, not vote for them. They are all friends. Absolutely. They all mingle. Absolutely. You, if he's doing an election, you'll find the um, um, and one that is a Muslim, he will go to a different church. The one that is a Christian too, will go to different mosques. They will let you, uh, this time, all of them will wear Aousa clothes, Igbo clothes, Yoruba clothes. They want to tell you that. They are. So if they are telling, if they are showing you that, 
Why will you be fighting yourselves and why will you be saying, oh, if you don't belong to my religion or you don't belong to my tribe, I won't vote for you. Hmm. Those, are not, those are not the issues right now. We need, we need to um, 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 focus on what is on ground. What matters. What matters, not tribe, not religion. Because these are not the things that you use. These are not the criteria you use to run your day-to-day -day activities. Mm -hmm. No. So don't, when, when it now comes to the issue of election and voting, don't bring it in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, one thing I like about Mr. Macaroni is that he always uses his platform to try and enlighten and educate people. I, I heard from him in one of his interviews. He said he had one professor, professor, I don't know whether it's IID or something like that. That's something, <laughs> something <laughs> drama. He, 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 there, there was a quote, there, there, yes, exactly. There was a quote that you said. He yes. said, drama must educate. Yes. It must entertain. Yes. It must inform and yes. it must teach. Yes. And, and certainly, I have no doubt in my mind that Mr. Macaroni is certainly doing all of, all of that. Yes. All of that. So now the another issue that I want to bring to four. Mm. If you look at these candidates, I want to stick to the three major candidates. Mm. And when I say the three major candidates, I'm talking about APC, PDP, and Labour Party. Labor Party yeah. Now, these guys, the three of them have been in this game for long. Mm. Atiku has been contesting for God knows how long. Mm. Ashwaju has been in the game since 1999, or mm. even before then. Mm. But it came, even um, Peter Obi ha, has been to Abga, has been to Labour, yeah. he has been to PDP yeah, in, in Labour. But yeah. some people think that they are more entitled to it because they have been in the game longer. Mm. And some Nigerians are there saying, Oti, he has paid his dues, mm. it's his turn. Mm. You know, it's his turn, he has, he has paid his dues, oh, help me, oh, she, but, mm. you know. What's your opinion on that? We need to correct that mindset with the people. Should it matter that he has paid his dues? You know, like I said earlier, people will tell you that they want to vote for their own candidates for different reasons. Mm. Some will come out and tell you, oh, it is because I have seen that this person, this person has done well for so, so, so amount of people and he has built so, so, so amount of people. Mm. I feel, oh, they, they, they are different reasons. But like I said, the analogy I have used before is what I will still use again. You will not say because someone has been good to you, just you, then he is good for everybody. You will, you will consider what is at hand. The common goal. Yes. If you believe in your heart that, oh, yes, this person can actually do it, oh, then by all means, go ahead and, and, and vote. But not when you now have option A, option B, option C. Mm. And you know that there are other people mm. or uh, another person that is capable of doing a better job. In, in the interest of Nigeria, in the interest of the country, because I, I, I say one thing, there are a lot of people that uh, say, oh, may Yoruba go this way, Ibo go this way, Aosa go this way. I said, till they make that proclamation, until it is achieved. We are still one. We are still one. Absolutely. And I am for Nigeria. Absolutely. I don't know about tomorrow, if, they, if everybody will divide, but right now, it is Nigeria. The pledge that I have been reciting since primary school, it's to Brazil, serious, it is, I pledge to Nigeria, my, my country. country. Absolutely. So any decision Absolutely. I take, anything I want to do, which is my charge to everyone watching us here, right now, anything you want to do, Consider the interest of Nigeria. Don't say, oh, because oh, one person interest. has done this. or one person. Consider the interest of the country. And look at the candidates. Look at who you believe is best to lead the country. And who you believe, who you know, will do a great job. Mm. Considering all the qualities of a good leader. Physically, physically, um, um, aware, mentally aware, psychologically aware, a good uh, manager of resources, a good manager of time, Certainly. good... Look at all of these qualities. Mm -hmm. Then you will know that, oh, okay, there is a better option. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank, thank you very much for the, for the words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs>